hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video also and this is a new segment guys where i'm gonna uh, share about you know vmware vsphere and virtualization technology so i have seen couple of videos lots of videos uh, and in that i have seen people have spoken about the configuration directly they have not uh, spoken about anything what is the foundation of virtualization how it works how we can use vmware vspace vcentos each and everything they just started talking about how to configure how to do blah 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 things but there is nothing like foundation so if you want to learn you should have the basic idea about all uh, and each and everything and then only it is uh, very easy or it becomes easy to understand because foundation is like basic things if you know the basic things you will be going very smoothly to understand and learn the vmware or whatever you are going to learn any technology so guys i'm just trying to prepare uh, from the very beginning this is my first video in in vmware or v uh, 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 vsphere um, basically virtualization technology so in this video i'm going to talk about how vmware or vsphere uh, is useful in virtualization and how we can use this, uh, use it in virtualized infrastructure or how we can virtualized our infrastructure okay i hope this video will be informative this is very first video beginning and if you want updated videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel comment on this video share this video because i will be going by one by one all the videos theoretical part first of all then configuration so until unless we don't understand theoretical part in detail basically foundation we will not be able to understand anything i hope this video will be informative so guys not much very simple in this video so if you are using vsphere so what will be uh, the benefits or uh, what we will get from here so first of all see the very first thing let me take highlighter here vmware sphere uses it uses virtualization to transform data center into a scalable aggregated computing infrastructure so if you are using vmware vsphere it will use virtualization it will virtualize your uh, you know physical hardware or your data center into a scalable aggregated and computing infrastructure how it is how it happens you may not understand here but in my coming videos you will come to know each and everything very easily i have uh, prepared uh, lots of you know videos so i will be uploading one by one now a virtual infrastructure presents it organizations with increased flexibility in how they deliver their services okay and uh, a virtual infrastructure also serves as a foundation for cloud computing so in nowadays we are talking about lots of things like google cloud azure and aws all those things are you know virtualized because we don't know where the servers are kept but we are using so that is all about uh, virtualization and uh, next thing about in this virtualization in addition to being the underlying technology for cloud computing enables organization of all the size to make improvement in their flex uh, in improvement in in the areas of flexibility and cost containment so this is the advantage of using uh, virtualization or uh, next example here with server consolidation one physical server can take on the work of many servers by in cooperating multiple servers as virtual machine so the meaning is very simple here you you will purchase one hardware one, one server and you can make it to work as multiple servers and you will have to split it in, uh, it into multiple virtual servers or multi, multiple virtual machines how to do it i will explain you what are the you know required components or technologies in coming videos i will be talking about all those things one by one so this is how technology i mean this virtualization work you have one physical server and you are just virtualizing virtualizing you are just making it multiple in simple language by using vsphere vmware these are the you can say you know technology available so it will save your cost obviously next also it is 
of management and effective resource use are product of virtualizing the data center so the meaning is very simple guys here see if you are using virtualization it will be you know very easy to manage it will be cost effective it will uh, uh, give you you know possibility to use the available resources how to do it i will show you very clearly in coming up videos it will not waste your resources even if any resources available not in use you can utilize that resource as per the requirement if you are using virtualization and it is all it is every, i mean it is possible through vcenter vsphere vmware each and everything you can do very easily the next one uh, when you virtualize your data center now you are virtualizing your data center management of infrastructure becomes easier and you can and you use your available infrastructure resources more eff effectively that is what i was talking about you can use very effectively whatever resources you have and virtualization enables you to create a dynamic and flexible data center and can reduce operating expenses through automation while also reducing planned and unplanned downtime so these are the you can say the basic basic advantages basic uh, you know basic services if you are using virtualization how we can i mean how it can be useful for the organization so guys this was the basic introduction of uh, what is virtualization what are the you know basic features or basic advantages of virtualization and all this can happen with the help of uh, vmware or uh, vmware vsphere now you can virtualize your data center in cloud based basically or if you have traditional data center you can virtualize it, uh, virtualize it with the help of vmware vsphere how to do it you will be uh, knowing in the next videos so guys in this video this much information only basic information i hope it will be informative if it is informative please don't forget to hit this bell button subscribe share comment and in next video i will be talking about uh you know aspects of virtualization virtualization uh, virtualizing uh, the computer virtualizing the infrastructure and characteristics so what are the characteristics and what are the aspects i will be sharing in next video so till then bye bye